Hey everyone, I want to do a little bit of uh, testing uh, on this Blue Eddy EB3A. On their documentation, uh, they state that uh, this can charge from 0 to 80% in 30 minutes. I want to test that and see uh, how closely that, uh, in the real world, uh, the actual charge time matches that. And I'm going to even go all the way up to 100 in all three different charging modes. We're going to go uh, 0 to 100 in the turbo mode. I'm going to go 0 to 100 in the standard mode. And then we're going to do 0 to 100 in the silent mode. And uh, that way we can kind of see, you know, what, what one's the best to go 0 to 80%. What one's the best to go zero to a hundred percent, and uh, just real world testing. We've got the we'll put up the, the stopwatch here. Uh, the screen times out really fast, so I'm going to put the phone uh, down here at the bottom, and uh, we're going to uh, watch it and monitor it and see just how fast uh, each one takes, or see how long each one takes and uh, hopefully uh, provide uh, helpful information to you the next time you're out boondocking and you need to charge your Blue Eddy EB3A from 0 to 80% or from 0 to 100% and uh, you'll know which way is going to be the most efficient and uh, best way to get there. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the testing. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, uh, because this display turns off, I'm actually going to um, set my phone here with the monitoring um, so that we can kind of keep track of that. Uh, I need to keep the phone plugged in so we're gonna have to kind of do a, a little bit of a, a wonky setup here. Uh, time that it takes to go from 0 to 100 percent in turbo mode. So let's plug it in. Start the timer. There we go. Charging at 430 watts. turbo mode, notice that uh, we got the temperature warning. Probably going to overheat your power station before it charges up fully using turbo mode. So it could be a good way to just throw in a little bit of juice uh, quick, but uh, definitely not the best way to um, get the unit to go fully charged uh, without having it throttle without having issues. So it looks like it just started again. So let's uh, let's keep watching the time here and uh, we'll see how long it takes uh, before it goes fully charged, including the time that it took to cool off. So once again, uh, we've had it cut out uh, due to temperature. Definitely not the way to go as far as charging it uh, up to 100%. We're going to just keep going though, because uh, this is this is why we test. Uh, we want to see real world what uh, what happens uh, with uh, charging this. Oh, and there we go. It just decided that it was going to go immediately to 100%. Nearly two hours. So lest you think that uh, going 0 to 100% on turbo is going to, you know, charge in a speedy amount of time. Well, uh, get ready because it's going to take probably about two hours. So, what will be interesting now is to see if going from 0 to full on one of the slower speeds, even though it's less input, if we can keep the temperature lower and as a result, um, Sh uh, shorten that charging time. Okay, I've once again uh, discharged this uh, down to zero. Uh, you can see that here, as well as uh, down here. 
and uh, I've got this set to standard charging mode this time. Okay, there it goes. Okay, uh, now we're going to go 0 to 100% in the silent mode. Let it start charging and we will... Oh, there it goes. Okay, so there we go. Uh, testing is done and uh, very interesting results. So if we take a look at the uh, turbo mode times here, 0 to 80 percent, 59 minutes 58 seconds. That uh, is nearly double what uh, Blue Eddy claims in their documentation. Very interesting. Now maybe Blue Eddy tested it in like ideal lab conditions in a very cool environment. My house is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, the testing environment that I had, uh, but it's going to change, right? This is an off-grid uh, power station, and so sometimes it'll be 75 degrees, other times it might be hotter than that, and other times it might be colder than that. Interesting that uh, it took nearly double the time. And that was something I noticed in my last uh, trip when I was trying to juice this up really fast that uh, it took longer than I thought to, to get to 80 and uh, now we have the numbers to prove it. And then look at that, nearly another hour, not quite, but almost to get to uh, that last 20%. I think because of the heat. And if you notice in the time lapse, uh, it would stop like completely charging for uh, numerous uh, minutes on end. Uh, I think it was just because it was too hot after going uh, so hard there at uh, 400 plus watts uh, early on. The really interesting result is in standard mode. Now again, in my current uh, temperature and setup, standard mode actually charged from 0 to 80% faster than turbo mode. So that would uh, lead us to believe that uh, if you want to get the fastest overall charging time, not only 0 to 80%, um, but almost 0 to 100%, not quite, your standard mode is actually going to be the better option. If you're zero and you need to get up to, you know, just a few percent, you know, 20%, 30%, somewhere right in there, maybe even 50 or 60%, Turbo is your friend. That'll juice it super, super fast. But after that, it's going to start building up a lot of heat and really throttle the performance. So standard mode is going to be uh, the better option for you. And then, of course, silent mode, as you would expect, uh, takes the longest. However, notice that the differential between when it gets to 80% and 100% is substantially smaller. <laughs> so... Uh, that uh, is a, an interesting thing. So I would certainly uh, either keep your power station on silent mode or standard mode for uh, normal uh, everyday charging. And then uh, when you really need to just juice it really fast and you're really low, but you're not interested in filling it all the way up, uh, that's probably where turbo would come in. But aside from that, I would probably steer clear of turbo, not only due to the wear and tear uh, on the battery itself, um, 
and the unit, uh, but just because I don't see a huge benefit uh, to that uh, and using that. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.